Uh, hi guys. I have been using this uh, cooler, this lifetime bear proof cooler. It's a 28 quart. And all my last camping trips since I purchased it a while back. And now that I've been using it several times um, while out in remote locations, I can't say I'm happy with it. And what I'm not happy with is the ice and that of what's been inside. Um, I'm left with nothing but water in the bottom of the cooler. So I am very disappointed. I mean, yes, it is certified bear resistant and it's also made in the USA, which is important to me. It's well made, very well made, very sturdy and strong, but it does not keep the contents cold like they claim, not at all, not even close. Not even close, you guys. And the other thing that I do not like about it, well, there's a couple other things I don't like about it. You can see there where I, I slide the cooler in at the end of the bed riser in my van. And because this has got these side latches that have to come out so far, it makes it almost impossible to get into the cooler when it's in there because I gotta try to slide it back enough to reach in between the bed riser and this cooler to get into it because these buckles down here have to come out so far. You know a couple inches so it makes it difficult to get into it to where I actually have to like slide it out of the van or set it up on the bed to get into the cooler so I'd like it better if a cooler would just like unbuckle from the top or something and then raise up you know a lot, a lot like the, the different um, refrigerators for vans are and I may have to just go with a, a regular like Dometic refrigerator or something in my van you guys because coolers no matter how much money you spend, no matter how much they promise to keep your ice cold and all this, they all fall short. They all fall short of what they claim. And that's just the rea reality of the matter. I'm not one that opens up a cooler and gets into it constantly. So the cooler remains shut and latched and still the ice just thaws out into just nothing but a bunch of water in the bottom. So I really don't care for that. The handle is okay. I'm not crazy about the handle because there again, to get the handle up, you have to have enough clearance to get past everything to put the handle in the upright position. But my biggest, my biggest complaint about this cooler is that this thing is heavy as hell empty. I mean, this thing has got some weight to it. So with my hand disease and my elbow problem, when this thing is loaded with ice and contents like drinks, hot dogs, and salad, and whatever else would go into this cooler, by the time it's loaded up with the contents and the ice, this thing is super heavy. I have to carry it with, with both arms, with two hands. I have to lug this thing with both hands. And uh, it's just, it's too much for my hand disease. I, I can't, it's hard as hell for me to lug this thing around, so I lug it to the van, and that's where it sits the whole time I'm camping because I don't want to be moving it around because it's so damn heavy. So I'm going to have to go with a, a, a different idea. I may just go with a refrigeration system that could go in underneath my bed riser and then run off of either like a, a power pack like my power ad or just run it off the van. I don't know you guys but I would have to say in all honesty, if this was on the shelf where I got it at Walmart for sale, I wouldn't buy it. Knowing what I know now, I would not buy this cooler. I don't recommend it. Um, because of the things I mentioned, the side latches, it's hard to get into it, and uh, it does not keep the ice cold long enough, and it's super heavy. Way too heavy for a cooler uh, when it's empty. So I'm gonna go a different, a different route, you guys, because this thing just is not doing it for me. When I get home, and I only do anywhere from one to two nights in the woods, before I even get home, it's already got water in it and no ice left, so I'm very disappointed. So if you are thinking about buying this cooler, I would not recommend it. You can do what you want, I just don't recommend it. 
I'm gonna have to find something else. And I paid quite a bit for this cooler, it was expensive. So anyway, that's my thoughts, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.